Hi, everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how to create a recurring transaction. What do you mean by recurring transaction? Recurring transactions are nothing but to create the repeated or duplicate that set of transactions for a certain duration. You want system to automatically create the transactions on its own for given duration, whether it can be for, let's say, for one month or it can be for one year, then in that scenario, recurring transaction will be used. To give a practical scenario, let's say you have recorded prepaid expense, and now you want to make an actual expense entry in the first of every month, or let's say in any date of every month. So rather than doing it manually, you will create a recurring transaction in the system. So you will create the first prepaid expense entry, and then you will create the actual expense entry, and that actual expense entry, you will duplicate it for another 11 months because for the first month, you are creating the actual entry. And then for the 11 months, you will just duplicate it. So on the first or the given date, system will create on its own. So let's see the practically how you will do it. In order to do that, go to the menu from here and clear recurring transactions. So when you click on this recurring transaction, you will see the recurring transaction menu. Uh, module where the earlier transactions created are appearing here. These are all the transactions that are created are appearing here. Now I'm hiding the menu. I want to create a new transaction. So click on create new. Once you click on create new, system will open recurring transaction form. This is called as form from where you will create a transaction. Now you want to create a recurring transaction for this document. Let's say I want to create a transaction for journal entry because I have passed a journal entry which will credit my prepaid expense and debit actual expense and I will select the respective journal entry let's say I am selecting journal entry number 48 or if you don't see any entry you can even type it and it will appear if it's there so right now I'm selecting this entry journal entry number 48 so by default this is the date of creation and the document date on which this transaction was created okay and now when you want to start definitely you cannot start from the past date you have to start from tomorrow's date today is 27th march 2023 so you have to start from 28 march only the previous dates or even the current date transactions will not be impacted only it will impact in the future date so 28 we current started 28 march i'm gonna keep it as 28 march and when do you want to end it so let's say you want to make this transaction for another 11 months starting from March till another February. Okay, so I'm going to select here recurrence end date February. So February 28. Okay, and it should be frequency daily. You can select the frequency depending on whether it can be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly. Right now I'm selecting monthly because I want every month. So now I have selected it from March to February, which means total of 12 months. You can see here, the system has created a table of its one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, for 12 months. But I already ran it for one month. I want to run only for 11 months. So then I will reduce here the duration to 11 months. And here you can see only 11 months are going because one month I have already expensed it out. And this is the entry which I expensed. Now I'm creating a duplicate entry in system in these dates. So now I will just click on add. That's it. Or if you want to write any memo, you can even write the memo. Let's say memo for the month of March, uh, actual expense. Okay. Same thing you can write here. And the same will appear in the transaction. Click on add. So once you click on add, system will create recurring transaction and you can see all the transactions here, whatever created. Now system will go and check every month on that day, it will create a duplicate transaction. So this is a transaction which we created right now. And you want to see from this transaction, did it create any entry in the subsequent month? You can just click on edit and view it at any point of time. So here you're seeing the new document number. These new document numbers and the raster status as RAN. So let's say RAN is yes. 
So it means it has run and created this document for the recurring transaction. So duplicate transaction on this date will be created and the run will be marked as yes. So this is how you can monitor it. And you can go and check in journal entry. This document will be present. This new document number will be given. It will be present there. And now at any point of time you want to stop. Okay. Then in that scenario, let's say you want to stop it and you want to take, uh, take control of it. So you can just click on this dates. And let's say I want to stop from April. April will be the last month. I want to stop from May to XYZ. So I'll delete the table and I will click just save. So it will immediately stop running for the next subsequent months. This is how the recurring transaction works. And click on save. That's it. Thank you.